Hi everyone, welcome to Coding Simplified and in today's video we'll see that how to crack Microsoft technical interviews. So basically we'll see first of all that how we should prepare for the Microsoft technical interviews. So let's say if you are applying for the Microsoft interviews like software engineer or software engineer 2 or the senior software engineer, then how you should prepare for this one and what are the different round happens in the Microsoft uh, interviews. So let's see uh, overall about the Microsoft. So first of all, generally in Microsoft, uh, we have the positions like software engineer one, software engineer two, senior software engineer, and then we have the further positions as you go on the top. So first of all, let's see that what all we have to prepare for the Microsoft. So if you see that Microsoft is a product based companies and all the product based companies focus mainly on the coding interviews on your coding round. Right. So it means definitely we have to we have to focus more in our coding in our data structure. That's the first point. Right. So as I'll go with the preparation, I'll also go with the different round that happens in the Microsoft. So let's first start about your coding round. So whether you have experience up to like even you are fresher or you are uh, you have experience like three, four years or even up if you have experience till uh, like 12 years experience, or 13 years experience this coding round will definitely be there right so coding round is like a is like must have in the microsoft because microsoft being a product based company they focus on logic problem solving a data structure coding so definitely your first round will be of the coding round right then if you are a fresher or if you are or if you have the uh, let's say if you are up to the 3 or 4 year experience then your second round will also be a coding round in your second round, it will again be in a coding round and again in coding round, like how it can happen generally, how it happens that your first question will be a little bit easy, but your second question, then it will be a little complex. It will be basically uh, better than the previous one because they basically, you know, like as because as you go in the interview, they first they want to evaluate you. So they check that, OK, if everything uh, like the basics, you know, so the first question will always be the easy one and the next question will be the complex one. So generally, uh, like they asked two questions uh, in the coding round. Similarly, it will happen in the second coding round as well. So that will also be consisting around two questions, right? Now what happens that let's say if you have more experience, let's say seven or eight ex area experience. So generally, then it will have the combination of the coding round plus low level design as well. So what can happen? Let's say if they have given question of the parking lot. So in the parking lot question, uh, like or uh, let's say online gaming question. So first of all, they can have they can give you a small code to write for the online gaming and then they can ask you to design this as well. Like which are the different component will be there, how many classes will be there. So that can be part of the low level design as well. Right. So if you have lesser experience, then your both the rounds will be of the coding round. But if you have the more experience, then your second round can be of the combination of the coding plus low level design. Right. So it means Till here we are good like for the two rounds we have to prepare it is expected that your data structure will be there and your low level design would be there right now how would you prepare for the data structure because being is a because data structure is very important part here is a coding round is very important in Microsoft so how we should prepare appropriately for that so basically for for the data structure we have covered a very good video that how we should prepare the data structure interview so in that video, we have covered it, how we should prepare the different topics. Like we have the different topics, array, string, linked list, binary tree, BHT, heap, stake, and goes, right? So like we have covered in this video, like what, which are the things we should take care whenever we are solving a coding question or like if you are in a coding interview, how would you proceed as, how would you proceed a question? Like whenever you see a, whenever you see a question, uh, how do you analyze like okay you know it's array question then again in array whether i sh can go for the heap or i should go for the stack i should i should solve it with the queue so this is a strategy we have to follow right so we have covered this video i would advise you that in case you haven't seen this video please see this video that how we how we should prepare or how we should prepare for the data structure and how we should solve a coding question so once you once you see that one, then you will get more confidence at how we can prepare for the data structure coding round, right? Then the second part is low level design. Again, in the low level design, low level design guys is very important topic. And then nowadays, you know, like with the coding rounds or even the separately. So what can happen 
like let's say your first first round is coding round your second round is coding round then either it can happen that your third round is a low level design round or it can be of the combination of the coding round so if you are the fresher generally it happens that like starting three rounds are the coding round because as the fresher they don't expect to from you much they mainly focus on the coding because in the, in your college that's what uh, you have learned so that's what they expect that okay if, and uh, that if you know the coding uh, if you know the coding then that's all they want right so as a fresher you have to focus more on the coding you have to focus more on the data structure but if you have the more experience like if you have the seven years experience or so as you go above then you have to prepare the other things as well like you have to prepare for the low level design as well right so it means your next level uh, your next round can be of the low level design or it can be of the combination of the coding round plus low level design now for the low level design as well we have covered one video in that we have explained that how you should how you should prepare for the low level design right so again guys i would advise you to please see that video because in one video we can't explain overall like how you should prepare for the low level design how you should prepare for that but in case you haven't seen that video i would advise you that please see that video and uh, that video you, you will find uh, in our playlist so there we have explained that how you should prepare for the low level design like a uh, first you know design patterns a very important part then uh, again the language skill like java c++ again that we have to understand little bit we have to also understand what is how we draw how we can draw the uh, different component via the class diagram what's a flow diagram little bit about database design as well right then again like which are the how we should prepare for that one like parking lot employee management library management are some of the examples that we have to do right so please see this video on the low level design that how we can prepare for the low level design when you are going for the intro uh, preparation right so it's meant uh, till now we are good we have the coding round covered we have the low level design round covered then it comes the system design so nowadays it's a trend that if you are above three or four years experience then they can ask the system design as well a system design like because now the point is that system design means it is talking about the performance it is talking about the scaling it is talking about the big data right so just for an example let's say like amazon flipkart you know they are handling a lot of customers so how they are handling that how you they are doing scaling how they are doing uh, like how how they are able to make the uh, like this as a performance system right so that what it comes in the system design so in the system design guys we have covered a very good video uh, where we have discussed that how we can prepare the system design interview properly in system design there are a lot of topics we have to uh, like there are these at least these of the things we should aware like what is a load balancer what's a cache what's a sharding what is indexing what's a proxy servers uh, difference between the when i should use the sql when i should no sql what are the rest apis how like where i should use the hashing so all this part we have to see in the in the system design questions again whenever there is a system design question how we should approach that question so that's what we have covered in this video like how we should go with that right whenever the question is there let's say the question is of the parking lot now first of all we basically Uh, we we basically take all the requirements then we say okay how the system how the system workflow will be there then let's say if there is some different logic that how many entry gates will be there how many exit gates will be there when how much logic we have to apply right then again how what will be the database designing which are the api i have to create again the scaling again the scaling you can say that okay if, if let's say if i have to handle a big server or like there are there is a around i have to handle like, let's say 20000 vehicle at a place then how would you handle that right again the concurrency come uh, if one vehicle is going exiting one vehicle is entering then how do you make it concurrent so all this part comes in the, the system design part so i would advise you to please see that video in case you haven't seen that so this is again a very important topic and that's what we have covered here as well that you have to cover the system design if you are going for the uh, microsoft interview and why i am focusing here for the microsoft because microsoft is a product based company and product based company focus in the designs level interview like they focus more on coding they focus more on low level design they focus more on system design so that's why for the product based company we have to focus a lot in on all these topics right so it means your next round will be of the system design round 
system design around you know like as you go above if you have 10 years experience 11 years experience sometime even two round can happen for the system design so generally what happens that one round is fully on the system design and sometime like it comes in the manager round as well like sometime hiring manager can also ask, ask one of the system design question so that can also be a possibility right so it means the next part you have to understand the system design now so it means four rounds we have done two round of the coding round two or three round of the coding round one round is low level design or the combination of this one and another round will be system design round then it comes the hiring manager round so in hiring manager round what what is asked so generally hiring manager takes the feedback from all the previous all the previous interviewers so the first thing it asks based on the previous feedback let's say uh, let's say the interviewer said that okay coding was good but low level design wasn't that good so in that case the manager can ask on the low level design to make sure that whether the candidate you know is good at uh, this or not similarly it can happen that someone can say that okay system design like design wise candidate is good but coding is not that good so in that case then uh, hiring manager can even ask the coding as well right but in 99 percent hiring manager won't ask the coding generally hiring manager ask about the design part mainly so it means the on, based on the previous feedback hiring manager can ask about the design hiring manager can ask about can ask about the coding as well that's the one thing so now in the hire so hiring manager ask so what hiring manager can ask other things that is the first part is about your last project like what currently you are working because hiring manager wants to test that whether in your current company also are you working uh, are you working on a good project or not because if you are working on a good project if you have done something great it means that's a high probability that it will benefit to microsoft as well and it will be and there's a similar chance that you would you would work on the similar manner in the new company as well right that's why they want to understand about the last project and it is not that your last project only manager will ask even in your other rounds as well anyone can ask about your last project because a last project comes in like tell me about yourself right because when, whenever someone is asking about tell me about yourself you can also explain about your last project as well so but hiring manager will be really interested in your last project what you are doing and based on that uh, like he or she will evaluate you that whether you have really done the excellent job in your current company or not right then the next part hiring manager focuses on the behavioral questions and guys behavioral questions are again a very important part uh, like companies like Amazon, Microsoft, Amazon focuses a lot in the behavioral questions, but Microsoft also they focus a lot on the behavioral questions and in the mainly in the hiring manager round, you can you can see the behavioral questions like why you want to join us, right? Very basic question. Why you want to join us? So in that they want to see that okay, uh, what's the reason of switching the job? right so that is something you have to you have to prepare and why i'm showing this because we have covered one full video on the behavioral questions that how you should prepare for the behavioral questions uh, right and how you should diplomatically answer the questions so please say that video because uh, i can't cover all the things in this video so but for now i am telling you that here like uh, you know these these are the questions will be there so that you know it kind of prompt you to think but if you if you have already you know if you have already practiced those questions then it will be really easy for you right so generally hiring manager ask this question because hiring manager also also want to see that whether you will be a good fit for your team or not because let's say you may be good you may be very good at your coding but if you are not a good guy or if you are not a good candidate like culture wise then you may not be fit in your team or even you can destroy the team culture right so that's why uh, like uh, hiring manager ask all these questions some of the examples like uh, like the most challenging task or project done so far similarly was there a time of disagreement when you were right or like uh, how how did you work on the tight deadline or similarly like was there a time of disagreement when you were wrong regions of all job switches apart then works any other contribution to the team you have made in your in your current company right so these are the uh, these are the questions that may be asked in the behavioral question so please prepare for this one as well and please see that video that how we should prepare for the behavioral questions right and again uh, like not only manager anyone any interviewer can ask these questions like how uh, how you handle the tight deadline how you train the junior so it can only anyone can ask but hiring manager mainly focuses like hiring manager focus more on the behavioral questions right now apart than this 
so hiring manager can ask on the last project hiring manager can ask on the behavioral questions hiring manager can also ask on based on the previous feedback and that's so generally this is what uh, it is expected from the hiring manager round now it comes the hr round generally hr round is kind of in the product based companies uh, like what i have observed that hr round is kind of a formality like if you have if you have gone to hr round it means 99% you are selected because manager because based on because what happens that after your rounds are completed till the manager round then based on your interviews they discuss everyone discuss and everyone sits and they discuss the candidate if candidate is good then they notify to hr and then hr discusses about the salary or offer letter and like how we should uh, how the processing uh, further will be there right so it means uh, this is what uh, it happens in the hr round so i would say that don't focus on the hr round whatever we have discussed till now if you focus on that that will be super cool but yeah like again if you want to if you want to like see that uh, that how 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 i should discuss the offer letter or like how sh how should i negotiate the salary so again uh, like we have covered some like we have covered some videos from the that so please see that video like uh, we have covered this video salary negotiation how we can do this one similarly we have also covered one video like what is hr round process and how should how we should prepare for that one so in that we have covered this one so basically the point is that uh, hr round yeah you can prepare for this one so these are the things we have to take care whenever we are preparing for the microsoft technical interviews and again uh, one just a, just a point to note like sometime it happens you know like after every round so like they also ask that okay if you have any questions uh, please let us know so in that like uh, let's say if hiring manager asking you the question so in that case you can basically ask that okay uh, in which team i will be there or like what would be my kind of job uh, and like what i have to do there in which technology i uh, i will be working there in which bu i will be working there so these are the questions you can ask so that you know it will have the good impression on the interviewer that you are interested even you are thinking right now uh, that right so i think uh, uh, we have covered a lot of things in this one in case you have any doubt please write in the comment section and we can discuss it further because you know these are these are not the finite list even many things can come up in the interviews right so please write your uh, please write your experience as well in your comment section and then we can discuss it further so that's all guys about this video in case you have liked this please like the video and please subscribe the channel for more such videos thank you